Hello and welcome to another ClickCentral.com video. Um, this is a series of videos um, around loading data, doing incremental load. Um, first of all, sorry it's been a while since my last post. Um, I've been trying to file soon, have a few changes, um, moving house, moving jobs, so on and so forth, but you know we'll, we'll get back on track hopefully. So in the last video, which I'll get a link for in, in the description here, um, we talked about doing a recovery load and setting up the process of how to do that. Now we're going to talk about storing the cube and take the first, the first point of that sort of process. Okay, so we'll just go into the um, script. Okay, and then just to remind what we did last time, again, it's all explained in the other video. Um, we're setting up a loop that's going to go through every single day from a, a set period in time uh, up until yesterday, which is today minus one. So that loop will be two numbers, um, and then that will go through. Um, these numbers and, and loop through um, the scripts, going through a, a load and then a store, um, and picking up each day one at a time. Okay, so that's what our loop's doing. Again, it's all explained on the previous video. So, again, we load one day at a time here um, the information from a workbook um, that I've got set up as, as data. So, we've got a number of days worth of data there um, around November 2004, which shows how long ago since it was I last did this um, for a few months. Okay, so that's where we left it. Um, now we're going to look at the store command. Okay, so hopefully you should be aware of how to store a table that you've loaded into ClipView externally out of ClipView as a QBD file. Uh, and that's very straightforward. So, store this a table name into the file name. Um, don't think that's actually needed, but I put that in anyway. Um, and then what we do is then we drop the table data and then we go back and bring the next day and the next day and the next day. So we're going to load each day, store it, um, and load the next day. Now, for the eagle eyes amongst you will know this won't work. Because if I run it, we run the information through. We've obviously got some information um, for right back in November. And then obviously, now we're going into January and February. There's no data there, so each each day it's loading and trying to attempt to load that day's worth of data. Okay, so if we now open up the QBD file, and we'll just do it in the preview mode. In fact, we'll actually open it up. Okay, there's nothing there whatsoever, and that's because each time ClickView stores a QBD, it overwrites what was there previously. Okay, I'll just do is bring this load script in there because that will help us now. We don't need this. Rel relative paths are always better on ClickView, I found. Okay, so what we can do, so what we're going to do now is, is sort of force ClickView to append the information onto the QBD file each day. So we're on the 1st of November, it's about two days, two lines worth of data. We'll store that, then we'll go back into the 2nd of November. There's an extra line of information, so we'll then concatenate it to the existing. So what we'll do now is we shall concatenate data, because that's what we've already got. So we've already loaded data at this point, so now we're going to concatenate it, append it to what we already have. Now just to make extra certain we don't duplicate any data, we're going to use a where exist clause. In fact, a where not exist. And that uses your primary key. Um, for this example, we're going to use date as the primary key. So in other words, if we've already got information for the first, and for some reason, click view, for whatever reason, maybe we've, we've run the script twice by mistake, and it picks up the first data again, it's not going to duplicate the first. In other words, we're not going to append another set of data for the first on that table. And that's done the where not exist. So obviously the not is reversing that command. And we're checking to see if that data that we previously loaded exists in there. That means where not exists. Okay, so if I reload this now, let it run through. So you see how it's bringing in the information, then it's increasing, and that we've got, and then actually it's staying the same all the time. That's all the days that we've got no data for. So all the data prior to sort of mid-November up until the current day, well, yesterday, okay? So we'll okay that, just save it. Um, at the moment, we still don't have any data in because we had the drop table command at the end of every loop. 
So just to prove that it's that it's working, I'm just going to put a command in here, a load script here. So I'm going to load the QVD, and there you see we've got all the information there for all the different dates, which does um, tally back to the workbook. Okay. So that's it for now. Um, we, we need to expand this a little bit more, uh, and that's what we're doing in the next video, um, just to take into account months changing and, and to sort of organise it. And also, if the QVD <coughs> excuse me, didn't exist, we need to ensure that there's an error trap in there to, to, to create a new QVD if that one didn't exist. So we'll also expand on the idea that this started out originally is not just an incremental load, this is actually going to do a recovery process. So we're going to expand on that a little bit more. Okay, So that's it for now. Um, Love to hear your comments, future ideas for, for dashboards or <laughs> future ideas for videos. Um, everything's available, um, previous videos and so on, if you look at clickcentral.com or if you search the channel, Click Central on YouTube. Um, thank you very much for watching and um, hopefully see you again soon.